Hello, my name is Sean. My name is Zeke. And for our project, we analyzed waiting times at Hartsfield Jackson Atlanta International Airport. So key findings for our project is that there are longer waiting times early in the morning and late at night at Atlanta International Airport. Um, additionally, there are longer waiting times generally in the summer and also on Monday for the day of the week. There are shorter waiting times during COVID uh, despite being equally staffed and the number of active booths proved to be a significant factor when determining waiting times at this airport. So motivations for our project. We were motivated by uh, traveling experience, specifically experiencing long waiting times during international travel. And we are very curious about the traveling patterns during COVID-19 versus uh, pre-COVID-19. Uh, and lastly, the Atlanta International Airport is generally extremely busy and we thought that this would be a very interesting topic to work with. In terms of our data set, we got our data from a government website that uh, formatted all of the airport data in terms of XLS files. And these XLS files were separated by year and we combined and tidied the data into one big CSV file. This data set consists of data spanning from 2017 to 2022. And it specifically describes the waiting times for passengers that travel through each terminal within Atlanta airport. Uh, it divides every hour for each year and notes the number of passengers that come through each terminal and the average waiting times for those passengers who are US citizens and the average waiting times for those travelers who are not US citizens. It also records the number of active uh, staff present in terms of booths. Uh, and to give more context, these would be custom booths. Now we want to talk about the main objectives and questions that we are exploring from the project. The first objective is we want to access the efficiency of the airport ter ter terminal. We want to ask a question of what are the possible causes for the longer or shorter waiting times. The second objective we try to explore is to compare the airport efficiency during the COVID and non-COVID periods. We want to see how do the waiting time differ from the different time periods, and are there any factor that might cause the differences in the waiting time? The last and the third main objective we, we try to explore is to try to determine when the airport is the busiest. We try to see when the airport has the longest waiting time and when should the resources like the staff be allocated more to lessen the waiting time. Now it's time to dive into our exploratory analysis. Uh, to begin, we started by determining when, what times the air, this airport was busiest. We started by evaluating waiting times per hour for this airport. The figure on the right shows the average waiting time per hour for all years. And as you can see, there is significantly longer waiting times during early morning hours, specifically from 12 a.m. to 6 a.m. And there's also a sharp increase in waiting time from 11 p.m. to 12 p.m., the very late evening hours. Throughout the day, waiting time generally increases uh, as expected since more, more planes are arriving to the airport. Another interesting thing to note is that the average waiting times for international travelers is significantly and consistently greater than that of travelers who are US citizens. We then took a, took a look into the average waiting times for divided by each month. The figure on the right shows average waiting times for both US citizens and international travelers uh, divided by each month. And as, we, as you can see, there's a general increase in waiting times during the summer specifically August. And there are generally lower waiting times during winter months. Uh, similar to the last figure, the international traveling waiting times is significantly greater than that of US citizen travelers and is consistently longer as well. Um, Continue to that, we want to explore which day in the week has a longer waiting time. So in this plot, we can see the, on, the X, on the X axis, we have a day of week, and on the y-axis, we have the average waiting time. We are also examining, uh, examining the time based by average waiting time, international traveler waiting time, and US citizen waiting time. We can see that there are even like a large differences among different days of the week, but usually on Mondays, they are, it has a longer waiting time compared to other days in the week. The next objective we have is to analyze the airport efficiency. In this plot, we 
try to determine what factor can cause the higher average waiting time. So on the x-axis, we have the number of the passenger. On the y-axis, it has the average waiting time. And the color of the dots represent the number of the booths. So if it is a darker color, it means there are more booths open in that period of time. But if it is a lighter color, it means the booth number is smaller. We determine that if, a person, if the average waiting time is more than 40 minutes, it can be seen as a higher, extremely long waiting time. And from the dots above the right line, which represent the dots has an average waiting time more than 40 minutes, they, even though they are distributed from all different total passengers, uh, most of the dots has a really low number of booths represented by the uh, light blue color. So we can see that low number of booths is the leading cause of the low of the long waiting time. And the number of total passengers doesn't have a stronger impact on the average waiting time compared to the number of booths. Continue to do that, we try to examine the airport efficiency by this plot. Sure. So as you can see by the figure on the right, we graph the average active booths for per hour. And um, a common pattern within the graph is that the number of active booths uh, generally are very less during the morning hours from 12 a.m. to around 5 to 6 a.m. And they also decrease sharply in, uh, during late hours from 11 p.m. to 12 p.m. And we can see an increased uh, allocation of staff throughout the day. This is very important because as we described before, there are significantly longer waiting times during early morning and as well as very late at night. And as we saw uh, from the, our previous graph, there is a relationship between booths and average waiting time, and it can be clearly seen by comparing uh, sections of these two graphs. Uh, all in all, the finding is that the number of the lower number of active booths tends to lead to a very higher average waiting time for both US and international travelers. The last objective we want to explore is to compare the COVID period and the non-COVID period. So in this plot, we have the average waiting time for each hour during the COVID period, which is after 2020 and before the COVID period. So from the plot, we can see there is a slight higher waiting time during the non-COVID period than the COVID period. To determine why that is happening, we draw the second plot, which has the number of booths open in each hour during the COVID period and the non-COVID period. Similar to what we got from the last plot, we saw that the non-COVID period has slightly uh, smaller number of booths open compared to the COVID period, which also validated our thought that the number of booths can impact on the average waiting time. So to summarize our three findings, our first finding is that there are generally longer waiting times very early in the morning and late at night. And on average, the summers are generally busier compared to other seasons. In terms of day of the week, Mondays seem to be the most busiest, having the longest average waiting times. And non-US citizens have significantly longer waiting times uh, compared to US citizen travelers at this airport. Our recommendation for the specific airport is to increase the number of booths during these times, specifically early in the morning, late at night, during the summer and on Mondays. Additionally, there should be more dedicated booths for travelers who are not citizens uh, to address this very large increase in waiting time for non-US citizen travelers. For our second finding, there is a slightly lower waiting time during the COVID era compared to pre-COVID era. Uh, despite both of them being similarly staffed. And this shows that staffing sh uh, should be managed better uh, during uh, non-COVID areas in the future. Lastly, the number of booths uh, proved to be very important when comparing the total number of passengers uh, and, and also in determining the average waiting time. And our recommendation, our recommendation for this for Atlanta International Airport is to increase the number of booths uh, based on these passengers uh, so that we can avoid having very long waiting times. And we should also allocate a uh, number of booths more appropriately uh, based on the, uh, these passengers. So that is our presentation for our project. And thank you very much for watching.